Hey, what's up guys? So, I am here with Ingrid, or Miss Glamorazzi, uh, on YouTube, and we just did the boyfriend tag over on her channel, so you guys should go and check that out. The link will be below. I wanted to do the girlfriend tag um, on my channel as well, because if you don't know who Ingrid is, maybe this would give you a, a good chance to get to know her a little bit better. There isn't an official girlfriend tag list, so on my Twitter and on my Facebook, I asked you guys to ask us questions because you're the ones watching this. You maybe want to know something specific um, about Ingrid. So I am going to jump into the questions on Twitter first. So Rakuba615 asked, what was your first impression of Luke? Uh, that he was a lot taller than I thought he was going to be. Because I had seen a couple of Luke's videos before we went to Next Up, and that's where we met. And I remember when um, I saw him on the plane, he was taller than I thought he was going to be, but I couldn't really see how tall he was until we were like walking off the plane, and I was like, oh, he's way taller than I thought he was going to be. Yeah. Whenever I do concerts or meetup events, people usually, first thing they'll say is that I'm a little bit taller than, than what they thought. Because mm -hmm. on camera you can't really see. So I'm like 6'1", six, six 6'2", six and then if I'm wearing my cowboy boots, I'm like 6'3", six 6'4". Six mm -hmm. And I thought that he was really nice because he was keeping me company and talking to me when we got off the plane. Aww. Aww. And I guess I thought he was. Oh, I guess so, oh, she says. Actually, I, pro boy. I probably wasn't cute, because I didn't think I was going to meet any YouTubers on the way to New York. And it was an early flight, right? It was kind of early-ish. Mm -hmm. So I just had my glasses and my hat on with probably just like a hoodie or something. Like, nope, you were wearing a waffle shirt. Oh, probably one of my favorite waffle shirts. <laughs> Marsha DC asks, who is the better cook? Probably you. <laughs> that is not true. Asterisk sarcasm. At all. Yeah. Asterisk. <laughs> well, definitely Ingrid on that one. But, uh. Raise the boo! What's your favorite thing to make, Ingrid? Maybe that was a better question for Marsha. I like baking, so, like dessert stuff, because I like to bake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Miss DD asks, if you could change one thing about Luke, what would it be? Don't you say it. Don't you say <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, probably the way his armpit smell. What can I say? Probably what it is. <laughs> we also talked about how I smell over on the boyfriend tag. So, uh, <laughs> it's got to be true. <laughs> probably a little, little bit of truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't think of anything that I would want to change about Luke because then I feel like if it changed it wouldn't be Luke anymore, Mr. Luke. I like Luke spelled L-E-W-K. Yeah, that's probably what she would change about me, <laughs> the way that I spell my name. <laughs> Just because I think L-E-W-K yeah. is funny. <laughs> Denise Beeb asks, can you guys kiss on camera? Something that I've I've been really wanting to do for a while. I've seen a lot of requests for it, so um, let's let's do this thing. You ready? Rachel Doodle on Twitter asks, "What made you and Ingrid first start hanging out?" Next up, and I I would say it was because we got along, and it was also a lot of us being in the same area around the same time because we were all separated into groups. Luke and I were in the same group, but a lot of times like our groups were in the same area and like everybody would go out to dinner together, so we were just like around each other mm -hmm. a lot and we just kind of like got along and hung yeah. out. Yeah. And then I was also teaching her about camera stuff. Oh, yeah. So that was the first time that we actually ever hung out outside of Next Up, is because she wanted to use me for my camera knowledge. And that was it. That was probably what it was. And then that kid didn't come. That was that. But then I picked him up again. He was Aww. just too cute to leave there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Roxy Baby 13 asks, what celebrity 
reminds you of Luke the most? Sometimes Haley Joel Osment. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. People have said that. Uh, like little Haley Joel Osment. Not the not the adult version. No, he, Luke doesn't look like the adult version, but like he kind of reminds. He kind of looks like how like I would have thought Haley Joel Osment would have okay. grown up. That's a problem. Everybody is gonna go and Google uh, <laughs> adult Haley. No, but actually, somebody that like reminds me a lot of Luke. Sometimes he has darker hair, but Joseph Gordon love it, and I think he's really good looking. I've had people say that before. Mm -hmm. That the heavy lidded eyes or whatever, yeah, like the, that type of thing. Hey there, Zoe asks, do you have any nicknames for each other? If so. What are they? Mister. That's probably what it is. Yeah. That's yeah. what I call him. And on the phone I say that too. Or or Thunderbutt. Um, <laughs> either one of those. It's like You thought of Thunderbutt yourself. Yeah. I wasn't clever enough to think of that. Yeah. But you guys can just guess what that is in reference to. I've called you Chunk before. You call me baby, yeah. That's true. You try to call me babe, and then I look at you like... Yeah, we don't really call each other baby or babe, ever. <laughs> it's like a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. And uh, I think it's fine for couples to do that, but... It's like a joke between us. Yeah, to, that, we like, don't, that we don't say that. Um, so I'll call her baby, uh, and she'll call me baby <laughs> yeah. sometimes. <laughs> so there's some like, pet names, I guess. But I really do like call him mister. So here's a good one. Joey Graceffa Lover asks, How did you score such an attractive guy like Luke Connard? He is the hottest man to ever walk uh, the earth. Does, ever. does that fit on a Twitter? It totally does. In a tweet? Thank you, Joey Graceffa Lover. Let's see what Ingrid's answer is. Oh, Ingrid just blanked. She just blanked. She just fell asleep. Oh, oh, that's too bad. All right, so no answer on that one. Strobsky, Strobosky asks, what's one physical attribute you find attractive about Luke? Everything. I like his eyes. I like his hair. I like his lips. I like his munching robot. That didn't work out. That was probably not going to be as funny <laughs> as I thought it would be. <laughs> you didn't do the munching robot. There it is. <laughs> That's how I put chapstick on. <laughs> CJ Neffers asks, what are Luke's top three personality traits? Top three personality, mm -hmm. like my favorite? Um, hard working. Okay. Hilarious. I will take that one to you. <laughs> My head's just getting bigger and bigger over here. And smelly. And smelly! That's not Even a personality <laughs> trait. It's not a personality trait, but it's a trait! It's a trait. There's so many, I don't know how to narrow this down. Mm. Or maybe it's just, I don't, I don't have enough of them. And loyal. Aww. Like to your friends and like people that you care about. Yeah, thank you. What does the EOS lip balm look like? Sad face. Well, it, it looks, looks like, like a... Caitlin Love 1D asks, how do you think your relationship has come so far now? Bumpy or smooth? Smooth as a baby's bottom. Yeah, I like comparing our <laughs> relationship to Ship to a baby's bottom as well. <laughs> Rosa1994 Anna asks, what is the thing you most love on Luke? On you? Mm -hmm. Maybe you like what I wear. I like the white, green, beige, and gray. You like that shirt the, the most? Yeah. It's because she bought it for me. I like it because I feel like the green, like, Pulled out the green in your eyes, and I think it looks really good. Nightleaf asks, 
If you had to go a week without shaving your armpits or your legs, what would you do? Legs. Yeah, gotta because get those armpits going. The armpits wouldn't be very comfortable. Mm -hmm. It'd be like itchy and just like weird. Mm. So I'd definitely do legs. Okay. Because <laughs> at least I'd be able to cover that up. Yeah. <laughs> armpits are a little bit harder, especially if you wear like sleeveless tops. And yeah. Stuff. Definitely. Lexa Ramirez 41 asks, were you nervous when you met Luke's family? Yeah, I was nervous. Like really nervous though? I like was! I contained it, but I was pretty nervous beforehand just because it's always an experience that's a little bit like nerve-wracking and especially when you really care about the other person so meeting their family is like a big yeah. thing and adding travel on top of that like <laughs> added to the nervousness because it made it even more of like a big event having to travel there yeah. to like go and see them so it all just kind of built up but my nervous n nervousness melted away because they were all really nice Aww. and I really liked them and enjoyed being with them. Yeah, they really liked you too. Oh, but would they like nugs? Alright, moving over to Facebook. So, Ellen Pickar asks, what is something strange Luke does when he sleeps? He releases toxic gases from his bottom. Yes. Thunderbutt. Yes. That's what, that's what it's from. <laughs> and he also does this thing with his mouth that I'm not really sure if I can recreate, but he goes like. Yeah, oh, that's something that that's <laughs> something the internet knows now. <laughs> All right, here's a good one. Jamie Markin asks, "Who is the most toasty?" Toasty. See, I can do it too. Toasty! 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 <laughs> like demon toasty. Nugget just like... Nugget's like, what? Hey, you guys gotta see this. You gotta, you gotta see Nugget. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> nugget. Yep, there's Nugget. Just <laughs> right behind us. Danielle Rose Volgren asks, what song pops in your head when you think of me? Last Friday night. Oh, okay, that's probably what it is. That's our like, it doesn't make me think of Luke in like a romantic way, but that's like our joke song. Yeah. And we just end things in like, last Friday night. Just like if we're singing a song <laughs> and it starts to trail off, we'll just bust into it. And last Friday night. It's, it's <laughs> stupid, but it's really funny <laughs> to us. Uh, Jessica Quinn asks, what's my middle name? James. That is right. Lucas James. Connor. The fourth. I was going to say the tenth. Wow. <laughs> Keep that lineage strong. Get a legacy going for myself. Corinne Satori asks, what type of Patronus would Luke have? Um, Lydia? Okay. <laughs> Probably would it be. I play Skyrim and Lydia follows me around a little bit. That's fine. So it would be a girl in armor, in Patronus form. Uh, Mine would be a panda. Yes, that is, that is probably... You're the mother of pandas, mm -hmm. so. Where are my pandas? Game of Thrones, <laughs> uh, Daenerys, uh, this season in Game of Thrones, season two, she just continually was like, we're like, where are my dragons? Mm -hmm. And so Ingrid, if she was Daenerys, would be where are my pandas? Mm -hmm. Lucy to be a, <laughs> a, pill a pillow pet Patronus. Yeah. Caitlin Vibata asks, Kiss her on camera. We'll ne we never get to see you guys kiss with a lot of thumbs up on Facebook. We did it earlier, but we'll do it again. So you guys. Uh, here goes nothing. Uh -huh. <coughs> nope, we got it. Yeah. No, we got this. 
All right, well, I think that is going to be it for the girlfriend tag. Make sure to go and check out the boyfriend tag over on Ingrid's channel. And, yeah, thanks for sending in all the questions on Twitter and Facebook. We will see you guys probably tomorrow for another vlog on my channel. Goodbye. Bye. Rachel Doodle on Twitter. <laughs> Rachel Doodle. <gasps> no, it's okay. No, you're gonna be okay. You made me kiss you. Cool ending. Cool ending. <laughs>